color purple changed my life. In 1985, I never wanted anything more in my life than to be in the color purple, to the point where I thought, uh, I didn't know anything about the movies, and at the end credit, there's something called the best boy. I was gonna convince Quincy Jones that I could be a best girl. <laughs> and um, God saw fit. I mean, when, when Blitz was telling me his story earlier that he shared with you all, just as he finished the story, the movie was ending and the chorus was, look what God has done. So it was almost like signing off on what you had just said. And for every one of us up here, it is a story of look at what God has done. And from the beginning, from the very first time I read The Color Purple, it was a blessing in my life. Because until that time, I didn't know that there was language for what had happened to me. And the first line of the book is, Dear God, I am 14 years old. Please help me know what's happening to me. And I had been raped and had a child at 14 who later died. And I did not have any language to explain what that was. And that book was the first time that there was a story about me. And so to come full circle and then to be discovered by Quincy Jones and be in the movie and literally prayed on my knees every night for the opportunity to be in that movie. Never wanted anything more. And then when it happened, I, it changed my life. It changed everything for me. And to now be in a position to come so full circle that I am producing with Scott Sanders and producing with Steven Spielberg, who was like, please put me in the movie. And I remember getting, my, at the time, my lawyer, uh, they were, there was some, we, we were getting favorite nations and I got $35,000 to do The Color Purple. And my lawyer said, I know I can get you 50. And I go, please don't, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would do it for nothing. So it's a full, full, full circle moment for me and that character became iconic yes. Uh, yes. for me. So I wanted to be there the day in particular that um, Danielle did that famous You Told Harpo to beat me scene. I wanted to be the one to call Danielle because it felt like passing the baton of glory and goodness because this is what we, we will all reap from the experience of this movie is glory and goodness because it is divinely touched. It's bigger than all of us. It's what Scott was saying earlier. It's what Alice Walker seeded in, 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 in the novel, goes beyond us. Now this story comes into the world and generations now will experience this in ways. And it's, it's like Fantasia has said on other occasions, you can't come to this movie and not be healed. There's something really powerful going on with the spirit of it and the energy of it, and it's the spirit and the energy and the love and literally the vibrational frequency that we all brought to it. So to see everyone here on stage in their highest vibration, speaking of this thing that we love, that is really greater than ourselves. I, they, I have no words for that. Mm. Look at what God has done. Mm.